All right, I've had this dump truck a few months now, and one problem I've kind of had with it the whole time is with the clutch brake. So let's see if we can get that fixed. We're in the truck right now. Let me explain what the problem is and what causes it. So the problem is with the clutch brake on this truck. So what that is, the clutch pedal here, when it's pushed all the way to the floor, it puts a brake on which stops the transmission from spinning. That is used mostly when you stop for like a stop sign or something. It um because the problem is when you're stopped at a stop sign and you're not moving and the truck's running, the transmission is still spinning and you can't get it in gear, it just grinds. So what you can do is you step on the clutch pedal all the way and that will put a little brake on that's right behind the main clutch which stops the transmission from spinning. The way it gets ruined, and I guess I ruined it when I was test driving this truck before I even purchased it, because if you step on this clutch all the way while you're moving, that little brake cannot stop the whole truck and it will burn out right away. And, um, you know, I was I never, I didn't know that and no one told me that, you know, I'm used to driving plenty of standard vehicles where it's fine to step on the clutch all the way. So when you're driving this, and using the clutch and you're moving you don't step on it all the way you go like halfway just enough to disengage the actual clutch but not before the clutch brake is actually engaged so I'll start the motor up right now and I'll show you what I mean how you can't get it in gear all right so we're in the truck idling in neutral so watch what happens when I go to put it in gear see how it just grinds and you have to get it to a stop. Usually it's, it's worse than that. All right, so clutch in all the way, go to put in gear. I mean, that's actually going to pretty easy, but see the problem? And it's usually a lot harder than that when we're, when you're driving. So, I've been driving a truck like this for a few months and it's annoying, but it's drivable. What you can do if you're pulling up to a stop sign or something, as you're still moving right before you come to a stop with the clutch up, you can slip the thing in gear easily and then push the clutch pedal down once you once you come to a stop. And then that way, when you go to take off again, you know, the truck's already in gear. So it's not a huge deal to not have the clutch brake, but it should be very nice to have it again. All right, let's pull the thing in the garage and see if we can get it fixed. All right, under this plate right here is how you access that clutch brake on the bottom of the uh, bell housing. All right, let's take that off. It's a little hard to see up in there, but let me show you how this works. All right, so I'm gonna step on the clutch halfway. So right there, that's about halfway. That's disengaging the clutch. Now when I step on it all the way, that's engaging that clutch brake. Now it's worn down to the point where it's not doing anything. All the way, halfway, put off the clutch. Half clutch, all the way down. Off the clutch. All right, so here's the new clutch brake that I got from International. That's what it looks like. Now, this is a two piece one, meaning it can be separated and installed without removing the transmission, which would be a huge job. Um, and it's funny how I looked this up. I didn't, I went to the International dealer where this truck came from when it was new, and I didn't have my serial number, but I knew the name of the guy who was the original owner on this truck and I gave him that name and they pulled up the build list from 1987 when this truck was brand new and we're able to tell which 
clutch, which transmission it had, and which which one of these parts it needed. So they, they had it right in stock. So uh, th this wasn't that much money. All right, let's try to get this installed. All right, I think the clutch brake is this thing here. Yeah, see it moving around now. A few people said you can get it out with an air chisel. A few people told me I can leave it in there because it's worn down so much it won't matter. Gee, I guess let's try doing that. That's a lot easier. I think it's got to go in these grooves too. Now I need to turn the motor to get to the other side. Wish I had an assistant here. And uh, let me just try bumping the starter to get the other bolt facing down. Got to get it 180 degrees. Let's see. Let me try again. trying to bump the starter to get the other allen key to face down but the motor always wants to stop in this direction all right finally Alright, it's in there. Let's try stepping on the clutch and try it. Push halfway, and there it is down all the way. Now I can't push it down as far now. Let's start it up.
seems like it's fixed good now. So here, I'll show you how it is. So to put it in gear, so I'll step on the clutch a little bit. See that? It's still grinding. Now watch, I'll do it grinding all the way. Brake goes right in. Halfway, grinding, all the way, goes right in. That seems like it's working fine. So I just gotta remember not to step on the clutch all the way while the truck's moving. Now, it could be adjusted. The clutch pedal doesn't have as much throw. It's not going down as far. Here, I'll show you how it is driving, but it's still acceptable. So, I'll step on it all the way. Goes right in gear, nice and easy. Now, by this point, I'm up off it enough. The clutch brake is off, but we're still not moving. So here we go, we're moving right about there. All right, that seems like it's fixed. Let's take it on an actual drive. That's nice having that clutch breaker ready. You know, having the truck sitting there idling and then going to put it in gear, you're always grinding the gears trying to get it in. Wow. 